We've had a look at now environment variables and a couple in particular, the path and the prompt. Now I need to specify that it's actually very, very important that you know that as soon as you log out or as soon as you exit the shell that you're currently using where you've made those environment variable changes, then the next time you log in, those changes that you've made will be lost. That's something of a shame if you took a long time getting them just right, but they will indeed be lost. So what it means is the changes that you've made to any environment variable will only have an effect during that current shell's session. I'll just uh, demonstrate that to you. Let's uh, set my prompt PS1 equals hello. Okay, so now I will log out, exit, and now I will log in again. Okay, I just went through the log out and log in procedure again, and you can see that my prompt is exactly back the way it was. The changes are not permanent. So how can we make them permanent? There must obviously be a way, and there certainly is, and this is what it is. If you need those changes to be made every single time that you log in, then put whatever changes that you want to make into the file called .profile. That's how you do it. Let's have a look at why that works. Your .profile is simply a file that contains commands that you wish to have executed automatically every time you log in. And note, of course, that this will only work with born compatible shells. If you're using a C shell, the, sh the .profile is completely ignored the C shell has its own particular equivalent file. So what this means is that if you have a command, any old command, even if it's setting an environment variable and you want that command to happen every single time you log in, then all you have to do is edit your dot .profile and put that command into the file. And that works for any program, any program at all, whether it be LS or a complex accounting package or anything. If you can type it on the shell command line, then you can add it to your dot .profile. So let's see if we can't make a change to the dot .profile that is permanent. So the first thing is to find it. So I cd into the parent directory and I vi my dot .profile. And I find a couple of things. I find that my path has been set to my home directory's bin, followed by whatever was in path before. Now, if you're wondering how things would get into the path before, they're actually set as part of a system-wide dot profile, if you like. There is a system-wide dot profile, and on most systems it's actually called slash etc slash profile. We should be able to see it, I'm guessing, slash etc slash profile, and here it is. So all of these options, if you can understand what they are, are run automatically. Now, notice that there is a PS1 equals the following. So that is where my prompt is being set. But I'll just go back to the other file, colon a hash, and I find that also what I want to do is go into the course directory and then do run the C program, whatever that is. But let's change all of that. Well, I won't change the path, but I will change the rest. C capital G, and I go what will I do? LS minus capital C, then I'll do a PWD and a date and a prompt, no not prompt, what am I talking about? PS1 equals, let's say just the current working directory and that's all, which will be backslash dollar PWD and then a little space and so on. Press escape. So I save the file and I quit. Now notice that nothing has actually changed yet. My prompt has not been changed to what I specified. I actually have to log out and log in in order for that to happen. So let's do that now. Now I've got my login prompt again and I type in mvirtue and then my password and then look at what it does for me. It gives me a little ls listing, that's this bit here. Then it gives me my current working directory and then it gives me the current date and time. And then it, my prompt is now different to what it was before. So this is very excellent for me. I now have complete power over the way my shell logs in, what is automatically started for me when my shell logs in.
just a little bit more information about your dot profile. If you're familiar with autoexec.bat from uh, DOS or even Windows, but mainly DOS, you will actually discover that dot profile is to logging into Unix what autoexec.bat is to booting into DOS. They are equivalent. They are simply a set of commands that you wish to have executed every time something occurs. And when I say something, like logging into Unix would be what occurs for your dot profile to get run, and autoexec.bat gets run when you boot into DOS. Also, dot profile is an example of a shell script. A shell script is simply a series of commands that you wish to have executed by a shell. Now, obviously, because we have an entire course just on shell scripting, there's got to be more to it than that, but your dot profile is indeed a very simple shell script. I just thought you should know that. And finally, it is actually possible to modify your dot profile and then apply those changes without having to log out and log in again. You use the command dot of dot profile. So you type in the word, just the letter dot, then a space, and then the dot profile itself. Let me show you how that looks. So I might make a change to my dot profile. I might actually change my prompt such that it just says, oh, I don't know, hello, for example. Then save the changes. And notice that my prompt has not yet changed. But if I type in dot space and then dot profile, everything in my dot profile will run, including that ls, the pwd, the date and time. And then my prompt has now changed. So hopefully that offers you a full understanding of how to use dot profile.